We are back right here on Gone Fishkin, and I'm very stoked right now to have one of the best drummers I've ever seen play live. His name is Frank Zumo, and you may know him from Sum 41, but he's here because he has a solo album coming out. What's up? How are you? Doing good. How are good you? Good morning, actually. Yeah, that <laughs> is an early one. Yeah. Thanks what? for fitting me in. Today is a very crazy day due to Coachella and Sum 41 video shoot, so thanks for waking up early to do oh, this with us. No problem. Uh, my bed is having separation anxiety right now, but I explained to my bed that, uh, come on, it's not every day I get to talk to a legend like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up early anyway. I got kids, and dog woke me up at 2 a.m. to go to the bathroom, so whatever. Damn. Yeah. Uh, well, awesome. I definitely ripped a bunch of cold brew before this interview, so that's why I'm a little more hyper yeah, than I'm I on, typically would. I'm on, this is down the street from here, Groundworks. Yeah, oh, and it's the, awesome. In the little train station thing, it's yeah. the best. So good. But, um... Just want to get right into it. You're releasing your first solo record. Yeah, uh, single for right now, um, because this is a whole new project. I'm kind of just collaborating with artists um, that I've always wanted to work with and doing it just kind of based on availability with my schedule and just wanted to make each release special. So this whole thing came about over the last year. Um, I had the opportunity with Van Shoes and SJC Drums to go out and do some like motivational workshop type of drum performances. And it really changed my life. Um, I went all over America, China, and I literally got to, you know, pick local upcoming bands and drummers, all kids, to open the show. We gave them the stage. We said, do whatever you want. Play as many songs as you want. Do drum solos, all that. Then uh, Mike from SJC would talk about starting, you know, SJC Drums, which in our culture you know, they're one of the biggest, you know, drum companies because of all the great artists they work with and all these beautiful kits they make. Um, So he talks about that. Then I get up and I'll play kind of a whole medley of some 41 stuff and then just hang with the kids. We kind of break down the barriers and just talk about life. And because with, you know, when I'm on tour, you're shuffled in and out. You don't get a chance to, even at our meet and greets, they're very quick. You don't get a chance to just hang with the kids and talk Mm -hmm. about life and really let them ask you the question that they've always wanted to ask you. So we kind of do a hang And then we end the whole thing by getting these kid bands and and kid drummers to get up and play with me. And then I just hang with the kids after. We just do a whole, like, meet and greet hang. And it really was so inspiring just seeing this this young talent and seeing, you know, how many people and parents support drums and and come out and do this. The fact that we got to go to China and then do these epic events all over America, it inspired me. And I was like, I want to do something different, um, something out of my comfort zone, um, I've always wanted to work with all these other artists and artists that you wouldn't associate me, you know, you know, working with. So it was kind of a challenge for me, something, you know, new. And um, I kind of went in the studio and started writing a bunch of songs. And then the first one that really got finished, um, I finished with Keizo, who I'm actually out on tour right now and playing Coachella with, who's this incredible DJ producer. He produced um, the song, The Less That We Know, and we got Mike and Martin to sing on it. And we were playing Coachella for week on one last week, and I was like, what a perfect way to launch this. We're playing together at Coachella. Let's put it out today. And um, the response has been really amazing. You know, you don't know when you put something you know out there, and I think people at first just thought it was going to be just like a whole drum instrumental type of thing, <laughs> which is I didn't want to do that. I mean, I have Street Drum Corps for that, and I don't want to listen to just all drums. I wanted it to make it musical. I wanted to make it um, current um, and just different. So, you know, it was really cool. I got Shepard Ferry to do the artwork on it, which is really beautiful, like the message. And, you know, it's really personal to me. Just And it's me, you know, working on things I've never done, like helping with lyric writing and melodies and things that I normally don't do. So it's been really um, just a really incredible experience for me, and, and I'm glad that people are like it. And I'm just going to keep, you know, collaborating and working. I have a big wish list of artists, and, you know, this probably will turn into a record at some point. Oh, hell yeah. Awesome. Well, I jumped the gun, gun a little bit, but I'm glad I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, I listened to the first track, and it's super cool. And like you were saying, um, when a drummer says they're going to put out solo music, no one really knows what it's going to be like because you have, like, Tommy Lee who's like, yeah, I'm going to put out solo music, and it's, like, this beautiful, like, adult contemporary type rock, mm-hmm. like him singing and everything. Then, yeah, yeah. obviously, Travis Barker will put out his stuff, which is always incredible. Totally. And then um, your stuff, I would, uh, I love it. It's kind of like a Frank Zumo remix, in my opinion. Totally. Even if it's uh, an original song. Yeah. I mean, you know, we obviously, you know, there's drums are very, you know, upfront. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, 
with mixing it, I was like listening back after we recorded it, and I was like, I need somebody that's going to really get this style, mix it. And I called up my buddy Paul Hicks, um, who is really, this is in his wheelhouse, but Paul is like, he has multiple Grammys for doing all the Beatles remixes, reissues. Like, he's so incredible. So, I got him to do it, which was really cool. And we made sure the drums were very big. And, you know, instead of a guitar solo, we did like a drum breakdown and yeah. stuff like that just to give it that vibe. But still, at the end of the day, it's a great song that you can sing along and listen to. Um, you know, and it kind of, I wanted it to kind of hit the genres that I like, you know, electronic music, rock music. It kind of bridges all that stuff, you know, together. And it was so fun working with somebody like Hazel. I mean, these guys are so fast. You know, this whole new. DJ, whatever, producer world, you know, just sitting there with him, I mean, watching him craft this while we were doing this, you know, it was it was a day, you know, of, of writing and a day of, like, tracking and finishing. It was, like, the quickest thing ever. And it, it was super special to me tracking the song on the drums because we had the session booked to go record drums um, at the same studio where I just finished some 41 drums. <laughs> um, so we loved the room. We loved the studio and the staff. And literally, my wife went into labor that night. Um, and we were supposed to track the next morning. So I literally just text management. I was like, I think the baby's coming. <laughs> Here's who you need to cancel. Let everybody know. And when basically I, I said it in like, you know, a little press release because it was like such a cool moment. We, the baby came so quick and out of nowhere, we didn't have time to go to the hospital. So we had the baby in our house, which was the Damn. most incredible thing ever. And when all the dust settled, it was like four or five in the morning, we go to bed. My wife just looks at me and I'd forgotten about the session, everything. She's like, well, had the baby. My mom's here. My aunt's here. Everybody's safe, healthy. Go do your session in the morning. I was like, you <laughs> sure? She's like, yeah, go for it. I slept two hours, loaded my drums, went, and it was like the most inspiring, euphoric session. So it's super special to me. And it, it, it you know, it really will always remind me of, of, you know, having my second child. So it was a really special session. And then I went home and just like collapsed on the floor and that was that. But <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. That's the most punk rock thing I've ever heard. Right? You just go for it. You know, my wife gave me her blessing. I was like, I, if she's cool with it, I'm going to go do this. You and know? It, it definitely wasn't a drum induced slaver or anything listening to mixes. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> awesome. So uh, when you do your solo stuff, and then also um, I've seen you play at Emo Night, which has always been incredible to watch. I remember Emo Night Day. I was, like, standing right behind you. That was my favorite one, yeah. Yeah, and, like, you're in the, um, like, front of house area playing, and I'm just like, yeah, this is so badass. That's also a big inspiration for this because I've been doing these Emo Nights, and I started doing the first one DJing. Yeah. And I was like, I want to play drums. So when we put together the, the Emo Night Day event, I said, you know what, because it feels so amazing when you're at the, the Echoplex with the kids on stage and all that. I'm like, if I'm by myself on this giant stage, it's not going to feel like emo night. I'm like, can we put me in the crowd on a little stage in the middle of the audience, have the audience around me? They're like, yeah. So we did it, and it was amazing. And, you know, I try to bring something different to emo night and, and add all these remixes and throwbacks and, you know, hip-hop, because you have everybody else playing, you know, the kind of the same stuff and all that, so I wanted to do something different. And drumming-wise, it's more fun to do all these mashups and stuff. And I was like, it'd be cool if I had, you know, I'm not out here promoting anything either. If I had kind of my own music to come out of here and play and then bring some of those artists with me. So to tie in Emo Night and all that, we're going to do the official, like, L.A. release. I'm gonna, they're going to let me take over the whole upstairs of the Echoplex oh, um, hell yeah. on June 7th, I believe. And that's going to be, like, the official L.A. release. I'm taking it over. I'm going to you know, curate the night with other artists that I want. You know, I'll play the single. That'll be the first time I'm playing it um, live. And, um, you know, in getting to know the the emo, you know, team so well, I came to find out how incredible, uh, you know, a video director Morgan Fried is. Oh, so one of the best. Morgan directed this video for me. Hell yeah. So it's kind of like the whole family and team. And, I mean, what Morgan did, you know, his vision with what my idea was and what we turned this into to make it, you know, a performance based video, but to just add the visual elements of like a visual video and combine both. I'm so stoked. I mean, he made it look so great with the visuals. Like I, it made me have so many ideas how I want the live show to be now because of those visuals and and all that. So it was really um, special how all this stuff came together and just to work with that, you know, family and all this stuff. Definitely. Also got to give a shout out to TJ and Babs. They're incredible. And Ricky, the, the intern. 
I just and saw Babs in Japan, of all places. I oh, was in Japan so funny. with some 41 <laughs> playing Download Festival, and she was in town on holiday. So we went and had ramen, um, which was awesome, and talked about all this stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet. And uh, also, that's on my 27th birthday. So, uh, is it? Yeah. Well, you need to come out. Yeah, exactly. I'll awesome. be there. <laughs> awesome. So, um, solo stuff sounds incredible. I'm really stoked for that. Really stoked to see it live. And also, I'm stoked to watch, well, you guys over there, you motherfuckers in that camera. Um, you won't be able to watch it. Well, you probably have a stream, but I'm stoked to watch a Coachella live stream and see you play. Yeah, I don't know if we're streaming again this weekend or oh, not. Okay. I'm not sure how that works, but it was insane. We, yeah. I've been on the road with Kezo for, I don't know, the last like month and a half, and the final two dates of the tour are Coachella, and we've been headlining the Sahara stage, which is insane. I mean, the the sea of people, it spilled out of the tent, and um, just the production elements. And, like, we brought some insane special guests last week. We had Youngblood. Hell um, yeah. And Tommy Lee, which was so rad. Um, Alex from All Time Low. All, All Time Low and uh, Grandson. Damn, so what a lineup. it was pretty insane. <laughs> yeah, it was so fun. And, you know, I have all the Street Drum Corps guys out with me, too. So we have just this drum army on stage. Um, and it's it's just he's doing it right with the hybrid of rock and and electronic music, you know, combining it. Um, it just, it's been so fun. The show's been insane. And tomorrow night we'll, uh, sorry, Friday night we'll wrap um, that tour. And then we'll pick it up, you know, again, hopefully later this year. Um, and then literally Sum 41 is starting um, next week. We start, um, we're doing this no personal space tour. It's our first tour back where literally we're playing the smallest places <laughs> to give it. the fans that, literally you know intimate vibe where you know no production no nothing you know start you know playing new songs from the record giving fans experience going to a lot of markets that we normally don't go to um and um it's just going to be awesome to do something like that because when i my first show with the band was chain reaction Damn. and that was so insane and that was a surprise last minute show before we did the ap awards to get to do that every night and also the set list we're going to play not our standard set list at all. We're going to give fans, you know, such a different experience playing a lot of deep stuff, um, stuff that's never been played before live, new stuff. Um, and then literally then festival season starts around the world and, and all that. Like our calendar is insane. Shooting a video today for the first single. Um, the record's going to be out this summer at some point. Um, I'm so excited. Like I did my drums on this in September. I came right off of Riot Fest, went in the studio, tracked all the drums, and... Um, it's, it's incredible. Derek did such a great job producing, mixing. Um, I'm excited to shoot the video today. The treatment's really special for this one. Um, so it's, it's going to be good. Good to be you know, back and get it going again. That's crazy that uh, your second show was APMAs with Sum 41. I that was like that. my first real show. Like the yeah. first show was like this little warm-up, and we didn't have Dave Brown sound because he was a surprise. Yep. So he wasn't even allowed to come to the show. We had to leave him <laughs> at home. So the first real show was, yeah, the APMAs, which was – you know, I've said it a bunch. It was the most insane, nerve-wracking first show ever because not only are you playing your first show in an arena, you're live streaming. It's the band's comeback. Dave's back in the band. And we have DMC from Run DMC as our special guest. It was insane. I mean, what a, <laughs> what a way to get thrown into the fire. Um, you know, and then, like, to come back and do the AP Awards a couple years later where they let me just – Put, you know, put together this insane drum performance with Adrian Young and Josh Dunn. That was really special and, and so fun to put that together and just to see how far that show's come. And mm -hmm. AP and AP has been, you know, I've known them since I've got, you know, in the real touring, you know, music business and they've just been such supporters. I called them about this solo project and they were like, we want to have exclusive release. So they, for the first 24 hours, were the exclusive video single um, debut of it. So it's just really special for me to have all the family that's been so important to me be part of this story and this new solo project and the support like even just seeing all the guys in some 41 posting about it like on you know it's really special and it's just it's cool because you never know when you you really put yourself out there in, in this way i'm not just like in the back hiding behind my drums you know this is you're, you're putting yourself out there in a new way and it's really cool to see the the response so far i'm just excited to keep developing this keep working with um, an amazing artists and producers and um, kind of see where it goes. For sure. And also there must have been like incredible amount of pressure on you. One, joining Sum 41 like that. 100%. And obviously you have a personality and you're not just like a drummer that joined. You were incredible drummer. Obviously you had a past and a history with everything, which is awesome. Then Brown Sound comes along again. 
And um, man, it's probably the most iconic thing, just watching him play the Into Deep solo straight into Fat Lip intro. Totally. So cool. And now yeah. uh, this is going to be your second record with the band that you yeah, guys are working on. Yeah, this is my on. second record with the band. And um, this record is a beast. I mean, we all got in the room together on this one. It was, you know, after touring for three years, the band's so tight. The The songs are just insane. You know, it was really, it felt like such a, a band, you know, like it, this record, it's like, this is us. This is us in the room. It's not... Um, you know, this guy did his part here or whatever, a piecemeal. It's just, it's really such a, a really amazing record that we're super proud of. Um, and it's got kind of a little bit of everything, but it's it's definitely a beast of a record um, and definitely kicks my ass um, in the drumming stuff because there's some pretty insane stuff on there. Um, you know, everybody just really stepped up big in this record and in, in, in writing and performing. The guitar solos are fucking insane. Um it's it's a really really good one. Um, it's and it's coming together well. It's gonna be really fun to see how this translate. And this record was really inspired by just playing the shows, seeing the fan reaction, festivals. You know, so it feels like a really like vibe that would fit in in all that world. I'm excited to get back. You know, we we just got a taste. Our first shows back were just in Australia and Japan for Download Festival, and I was literally flying in and out of the Kazo stuff, so it was pretty hectic. Um, but we all get in a room together today, do this video, start rehearsals, and this this intimate tour will really give us that experience. And like, I got to do my homework. I got to learn a bunch of, of other songs that we've only you know messed around with in rehearsals or whatnot. So that's gonna be fun to do all that. And um, just excited to start up again. It's it's so fun. Hell yeah! So you might be the busiest dude in the world right now. <laughs> um, I mean, so I don't know. I just it's it's always how I've been. I'm from New York. It's just New York mentality. Um, you know, I don't know how to sit still. I do love to go to Hawaii and sit by the beach, you know, every other year. But um, I don't know. I just I love working. I love performing. And it's not it's not hard. It's it's what I I'm so blessed to be doing what I want to be doing. And, you know, now after having two kids and being a dad, I'm like, that's hard work, not touring <laughs> the sleep, the shows, whatever. That's easy. Being a dad to two baby boys and and just, you know, the responsibility and just the, you know, you're always, I'm now I'm just going to worry for the rest of my life about your kids, you know, mm-hmm. which all parents do. And just like the decisions you have to make, it's, it's the hardest thing ever. It's the most incredible thing ever, but it's just like, okay, now I'm like, that's hard work. Um, but the greatest work and I will never complain about, you know, being on tour too long or any of that. And if I miss my kids, I'll just bring them out or I'll go home on a day off. Um, but my three-year-old is now understands when I leave, you know, so he's getting sad that I leave because he was born on and raised on the road. Mm-hmm. So he wants to be out. So he's like, wait, you're going on a plane. You're going in the tour bus. I want to be there. And, you know, he doesn't understand when I take him to shows now because he's used to being side stage or playing the drums during sound check. I took him to his first arena show without me playing. Mm-hmm. His favorite band is 21 Pilots. I took him to the forum and he lost his mind just seeing an arena show and the production that they did. And in the middle of the show, I took him to the B stage and then we were walking back to our seats and he's crying. And I'm like, what's, what's the matter, bud? And he's all, I want to go on stage and say hi to Josh and Tyler and, and play drums. I'm like, bud, you can't like they're <laughs> working right now, you know, but it was like, he doesn't understand. Cause he's used to just like, yeah, I can walk up on stage. It's my dad's gig and his drums. And I'm just like, you can't do that <laughs> at this show. But I was like, wow, he's he wants to be on stage. He's a performer, and it's it's pretty amazing to see him. Like, we don't push it on him. There's drums in the house, and he just walks. You know, that's how I, my dad was a drummer, and they were just set up, and I just found him one day, and that was it. And I think that's the best way. Hell yeah. You know, and I don't care what he does in life as long as he's passionate about it. You know, it's really all you could ask. Definitely. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear more music from you personally. Can't wait to hear the Sum 41 record. I got yeah. a little taste of like a 40 second clip and I was like, yo, this is pretty fire. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm sure. Have you announced to the world yet that you're on the record too? I did not. No, I've been keeping it a secret. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, this is exclusive. Forget about my <laughs> stuff. He is on the record. It's He's true. He's singing on the record. We're not, we're not joking. Like it's for real. <laughs> Get a gang vocal one yeah, day. There's one song where we listened to it and we said, wow, this needs a big anthemic, you know, uh, gang chorus. And I didn't know that he was on it until this morning when he said, I'm on your record. <laughs> so, yeah, awesome. Yeah, that song's fire from what I heard of it. So you'll be in the credits somewhere. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll be looking. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get the vinyl. I'm going to get the hard 
<laughs> yeah, I think you only have to get a vinyl to actually see, like in size that's legible, the actual credits. Because exactly. on iTunes, I don't do. Do they even come with the album credits anymore? If you buy I a record, no, I don't think they do. Damn, I don't know. Well. We'll, we'll be on the lookout for that. We're going to be look, on the lookout for all your solo stuff as well. I can't wait to hear more from you. And uh, how can everyone keep up with you? What's uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram? Yeah, it's all just Frank Zumo. Everything's just at um, my full name. And same with at Sum 41, at Kzo Music. Um, yeah, I'm all over the place. And um, it's fun. It's been, uh, it's been a great year so far, and it's ramping up to just be pretty, pretty special with everything we have coming up. I'm excited to just play more shows live release music and especially get this some record out like i just i can't wait for people to hear it um and just see where this one goes hell yeah well i'm stoked let's have you back when you uh, have more music out totally yeah i would love to have you come in and just do rip a drum solo for as long as possible that'd be super fun <laughs> <laughs> awesome well frank thank you so much for stopping for in me. i appreciate it have fun at coachella and i'm sure i'll be seeing you soon and if it's cool with you i want to play the less we know for everyone sure, do it awesome here Thanks, is buddy. the less we know by frank zumo